Okay, so this is going to be our first of two videos for uh, geometry, unit four, day three. Um, and in it, we are going to be discussing the area of regular polygons. So we already talked about um, perimeter, and now we're getting into area. So here we see a regular quadrilateral as our first example. Okay, so if we wanted to, right, we obviously could just do, well, duh, this is a square because it's a regular quadrilateral. That means we can just do base times height because it's a parallelogram. We know the area um, is going to be equal to 100 square meters because 10 times 10 is 100, right? Now, what if we weren't that smart? Okay, what if, you know, we were just hell-bent on doing a whole bunch of trig, right? Well, we know that there's four sides. We know that each side is... 10 meters right and because of that we can figure out what the apothem is so there's a word we haven't seen in a while right remember alpha is apothem that's the distance from a midpoint on a regular polygon to a centroid okay so if we know that the full side length is 10. That means this X over two here is five meters, right? And we know it's a regular uh, quadrilateral because if we just do the formula for theta regular, right? We're gonna have, so the interior sum, right? For a four sided polygon divided by, well, duh, in, which is four vertices. So that's going to be 2 pi over 4, which means we have pi over 2. So that means theta regular here is pi over 2, right? And that means this angle right here is half of that. So this would be pi over 4. Okay, so now this is a simple trig problem. And we can find alpha. Right? We can find alpha just by doing tangents. And I mean, I know a lot of us already have common sense. Yes, this is a one-to-one. -one. We know alpha is also going to be five, but just humor me here. Okay, so opposites over adjacent, right? We cross multiply five times the tangent of pi over four equals alpha. We check that in the calculator and we know, voila, alpha is also five meters. Okay, well, it turns out there's a formula for the area of a regular polygon. Okay, and that formula is simply this. Apothem times P perimeter all divided by 2. Okay, well, we know the apothem now, right? The apothem right here is 5. The perimeter, well... It's a regular polygon with 10 meter sides. So the perimeter is four times 10, which is 40, all divided by two. And we get the exact same thing we did as when we did the area of a parallelogram. Okay, so let's try it on a more difficult example. Okay, so this is not a quadrilateral. We, can, we have no alternative. We have to use um, area of a regular polygon is equal to apothem times perimeter all divided by two. Okay, we have to use it here. Okay, so that said, well, we've got some things worked out for us nicely. So we know X is eight, right? Because of that, let me redraw this triangle right here. Okay, so I'm redrawing this triangle right over here in green. Okay, we're looking for the apothem. We need it for the formula. We know this side, right here from here to here is going to be four right and we do not know what this angle here is okay but we know n is eight right so that means our interior sum is six pi divided by eight vertices we get three pi over four okay so that's our theta regular so this angle from here to here is three pi over four Right, but we need to cut that in half here. Okay, so all I'm going to do is multiply that literally by one half, right? So if I cut this in half, 
Okay, that's going to give me 3 pi over 8 now. Okay, so this guy right here is 3 pi over 8. Now I can just do simple trig to find the apothem. I can use tangent again. So tangent of 3 pi over 8 is equal to opposite over adjacent. Right? 3 pi over 8 is not a special angle. So we cross multiply. Right? So alpha times 1 is alpha. 4 times tangent 3 pi over 8 is just 4 times tangent 3 pi over 8. Okay, and there we have it. Okay, so I'm going to let this boot up a second because I always forget to have the calculator ready to go. Um, but anyway, uh, this process is not very, it's not very difficult at all. Okay, all we really need to know is the apothem, right? And to get the apothem, we're just going to have to use well, we're going to have to make use of this formula plenty for theta regular, which is the interior sum divided by the number of vertices, right? And we've already had plenty of practice with that formula. It's easy stuff there. Okay, so as long as we can figure that out, and we also have to remember, right, when we're using this right triangle in here, formed by the apothem, the radius, and the side length itself, when we're using that right triangle, um, we have to remember to divide theta regular in two. Okay, so here we go. So now let's go ahead and just figure this out. So let's make sure I'm in radians mode. Four times the tangent of three pi. So I got it to control divide three. Where's the pi button? Pi over eight. Okay, so about 9.66. Okay, so my apothem is about 9.66, and we're in yards. Okay, so now I have everything I need for this formula. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is plug in for the apothem. It's about 9.66. I'm going to plug in for uh, the perimeter. Well, that's just 8 times 8, so, oops, not 60. What's the matter with me? That's just going to be 64. Okay, so apothem times perimeter all divided by 2, right? We throw that in the calculator, so control divide. And of course, I want to use the exact number, so I'm going to copy and paste that exact number. Perimeter was 64, all divided by 2, and we get 309.02. So the area of our regular polygon is about, I already forgot, 309.02. Okay, and that is in square yards. Okay, so I think that's as far as I'm going to go with this video. Um, if you need any more examples or have any questions about any of this, obviously come and find me or shoot me an email. Otherwise, goodbye.